M0FXB welcome to my channel and if you like and find the videos helpful please subscribe to my channels and hit the like button for notifications 73 all the best Zero FXB just a bit of recording on DR mode so a lot of us get you know we like D star radios we want to have a go at D star and um, if you've never used D star at all you'll you think okay well I get I put the frequency in I set it on to DV got DV here and away I go, which simplex um, channel to channel, frequency to frequency would work. But the whole system is set up really using the, the, the sort of DR mode. Now, to me, even that is it's confusing straight away. So I'll put the radio into DR mode. And we're now in DR mode. So you have the from section. So at the moment, the bottom is, is selecting my hotspot. Uh, but it could be selecting a repeater. So we can do a repeater search. And then all these repeaters have come up. Now, my hotspot has come up because it's the nearest repeater. Because you add your hotspot as if it was a repeater. So let's just choose an actual repeater. And look, we just tap it in the from section. And there we are, straight onto the Cardiff repeater. And if we're in range, we will, when we key the mic, we will talk via the Cardiff repeater. Now the U in the top section you have the U. So two. So we can select that by just tapping it or using the up on the on the radio. Now this is where you decide how you're going to operate. So the usual way is you just choose reflector, go to link to a reflector. You can either direct type in your you know where you want to go like reflector one Charlie and click set. And it's now got, we can now link to a reflector. If we key the microphone and we were in range of that repeater, we could tell it to link to reflector one. Or, and then once we start talking, we go reflector, we go use reflector. And then now people will actually hear us. M0FXB. See, we're not in range. We've only got a rubber duck on this radio. But there are other things you can do. So if you go use reflector, choose reflector again, you can go choose the link to reflector, but direct input. But look what you can do with some radios. You can change it to, you're on reflector, but you can actually change to XRF, uh, DCS, and XLX. And then you have obviously different numbers for those items, which you select in the middle. But you also have different letters, so you've got the C. C and B, I would say, are the most popular, but it could be something else. And then there's always L at the end for linking. So let's just say we did choose an XLF reflector. There you go. Link to reflector. In this case, once you're linked, pretty sure you've got to put it back to CQ. I don't very often use XLF, XRF. So let's just play a bit more. So we're in... We'll go to we'll go to near repeater. And then we could choose one. Well, it doesn't actually have to be in the UK. So we could just go repeater list. Let's go to one in another country. So obviously we can't just speak straight to them. Now the way you would actually do that, let's get it right. So we would select something we can reach. So uh, near repeater, let's do the near repeater again. Near repeater or we'll choose Cardiff, which is near. Then we will select gateway CQ. So let's choose something in the USA Northwest and let's choose the top one so now if we're in range of Cardiff in the UK and then well that's typical that we've chosen a, an American one that has a British name so let's choose a different one <laughs> let's go Killingi there you are go Killing, Killingly and the repeater is NI, N1GAU Cardiff so what we would do now, we could speak through that repeater and we would say who we are. So we go, 
Mike Zero, Fox X3 Bravo, calling through N1 GAU repeater um, for a contact. And it probably makes sense that you would give them the, the letter as well, the B. Probably say something like, let's do it again. M0 FXB calling through GB, uh, is it 3CA uh, on the B reflector? So you would say GB7 CD and we're using B. And then if someone hears you on the other side here, um, they would uh, pick up your details and then they would have to put the configuration is so that they go, they contact you. So they need to make sure that the Cardiff information is in their two section. So let's, oh, I've never tried it with actual hotspot. So repeater list, because the hotspot, hotspot I'm obviously in range. So what we could do, try on my hotspot there. Hopefully I'm on, on there. And then we've got the killing G. So we'll go Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo calling through the repeater. My uh, suffix is H. Can you uh, reply to me? M0 FXB. And so someone else would hear me on the Killing Lou repeater, put in my H and they, they M0 FXB and they would try and contact me. So this is my understanding of it. I'm sort of learning this as we go along. Now the other thing you need with the DR mode is you need a, a repeater list. Uh, so that's what puts all this information in. So if you go menu, go to SD card. Find it somewhere. SD card. Import export. There is that. Import export. Import. And then you want your repeater list. There's no file there. Now you would download that from a site. I'll put the link in the description. A D star site where you can download these kind of files. The other one that's quite important is the your call sign one. The reason that's important is because you use that for linking to people directly, and I think you use the, the same thing for using XORF and X, XLX as well. So that's why you put that in the your call sign section. You just import the file. So, um, yeah, I'm still learning this, to be honest. I use the Armo, but normally I just put my hotspot in, connect to reflector 30, and that's all I tend to do. So, use reflector, there you are. That's the simple way of doing it. Can't remember if my open spot's on. So, open spot 3, obviously, you can cross mode. I tend to use Pi-Star, so I'll uh, put the heading of this as... Um, learning dr mode i'll see if i can find any more menus menu now when you let's just say you want to edit or change one of your dr memories so you have to come out of dr mode by holding dr then you need to go menu let's go back so i'm doing this wrong yeah, you go menu, DV memory, repeater list. And then most of your stuff, I mean, you can change any of these, will be in United Kingdom unless you've created one for your hotspot. So let's go to United Kingdom. And that looks like one of my hotspots. Hold your finger down and click edit. Now this, you can edit or you can add a new one. So you've got your, D, you, you name it. HS for hotspot, I've said it's at home. Call sign is essential. Now normally, if you've only got one hotspot, it will be M0 FXBW. The, the second one is always G. United Kingdom, I always put yes for use. Then you set the frequency. Now the interesting thing is you have to set a, a shift and set it to naught if it's just a hotspot. If it's a repeater, obviously you put in those frequencies, your location, and then you can add right. Now, if you let's say you forgot to put in those, the repeater shift to zero. Now, I've got a repeater memory here on a normal memory channel here, and 
it's got the shift and everything and whatever is required for my hotspot and the shift is, is zero. Now, if I go menu and go CS, look, it's put in what I need, the M0, FX, B, Q and G on repeater one and repeater two. And that would be different if you were on a, dip, if you were on a, re, a repeater. But look what happens if I get rid of the shift. So I just work out how to get rid of the shift. So we go menu, you go function here at the bottom, hit duplex, and if we turn that off, now when we go menu, CS, look, it's gone blank. So when you're in DR mode, you have to have a shift, even if it's not, otherwise it won't work properly. If we turn it back on, function, it can be plus or minus. Then we go menu, CF, and uh, it's all back in there. So that's, you can program a DV memory like your hotspot or even a repeater. Use the same frequency, the same shift, all the same details. And you don't have to use DR mode, but you do have to get that shift in, otherwise it won't work. So hopefully this shed some light on, on DR mode. And to get back in it, Hold down, this is really on the 705. Now, if you look at the bottom section, I've put in my open spot, I've got my Pi Star hotspot, and I'm pretty sure I've also got my DV Mega in there somewhere, but I've also got loads of, of these repeaters. Uh, there you go, which I've got on my CSV file. Use reflector, you've got these different options. One interesting one is Oh, you can direct put in your your own call sign look xlx there same goes for repeaters you've got your tx history there that's what we did earlier remember receive history gateway cq local cq and i'm Go to reflect when you're in reflector, you can actually do an echo test. There's your echo test. And when I, if I was on my hotspot and there's no one's talking, to find it, I always find the quickest way to find it is go to my TX history, TXDV, select my hotspot. That's the way I always find it. Echo test. I'm not sure if my hotspot's on, but we'll try. M0FXB test. Might not be properly configured at the moment. Mike Zero Fox X3 Bravo test. If it was set up correctly, it would talk back to me. And then the other way is if you want to know what you are connected to, just select the top half, go to repeater information, M0 FXB test, and it will talk back to you and tell you what your status is. Yeah, it looks to me like the hotspot um, isn't properly configured yet. But you get the idea of how it's all working. So I hope you find this interesting. 7-3, all the best. M0FXB.